Hello everyone. Welcome to Ortho Implants for Life. Today's discussion is on distal radius fracture and volar fixation. So let's begin. The radius is one of the two forearm bones and is located on the thumb side. The part connected to the elbow joint is called proximal radius and the part of the radius connected to the wrist joint is called distal radius. In case of a collis fracture in distal radius, the doctor can fix the fracture using two K wires from two directions one from radial styloid side and one from ulnar styloid side and it is totally the surgeon's call how to fix the fracture apart from that distal radius fracture can also be fixed using plates now this surface is called volar surface and this side is known as the dorsal surface and plates are provided on the basis of the surface to be operated. Here we are going to discuss the plate which is to be used for volar surface. This is a volar plate. Before fixation, K wire is passed through the K wire hole to hold the plate still with the bone and then checked under CM. After that, the fixation procedure takes place. Now for the fixation, the upper side of this plate is a 2.7 mm system and the shaft portion of the plate is a 3.5 mm system. This is extra articular plate and it is entirely 2.7 system. That means it will be fixed with 2.7 mm screws. To fix this plate in the fracture side, to attach a locking screw, First, we have to attach the drill sleeve. After that, drilling is done through the sleeve. And then we remove it. And then we can attach the screw. To fix a non-locking screw in the shaft of this plate, 2.7 mm drill bit will be used for the drilling. After the drilling is done, one can use bone tap to tap for smoother entry of the screw. This is the bone tap. After tapping, cortical screw is used in the shaft region of the plate. In order to use locking screw in the shaft region of this plate, we repeat the same process. First, we attach this drill sleeve in the locking hole and drill through the sleeve with 2.8 mm drill bit. After drilling, we remove the drill sleeve. After this step, locking screw will be attached to fix the plate. Tapping is not required in case of locking screw. Drill bit and drill sleeves are used as per the size of the screw which is to be attached in the plate. For extra articular plate 2.7 system, you have to use 2.7 mm screws and that will be all for today. If you have enjoyed the video, please like it, share it 
If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos. If you have any query, comment in the comment box. To know more about the career prospects in orthopedic implant industry, click the link given below in the description. Thank you. See you in our next video.